welcome back disc golf fans to the 2024 United States Women's Disc Golf Championship presented by Mint Discs. We are here for the back nine coverage of FJ15. What a fun front nine we just got to watch and I'm excited to watch this back nine. I'm Nathan Queen again joined by Rebecca Cox. Hey everybody uh yeah these girls are good like good good I'm shaking my boots a little bit knowing that in just a few years they're gonna be in my division yeah, lots of solid putts, solid drives. You see Shelby Cowan six down through the front nine. Haley Huber not far off four down. Peyton and Ava both under par in their respective rights as well, looking to make a push. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and MJ Gager also six down through the round, trying to make a move today. They're playing a new course. Uh, the first round they played Live Oak, or the first two rounds, brings us into... Hole 10, 188 feet, pretty straightforward. Just make sure you don't land behind one of these two trees so you have an open putt. Very solid drive from Shelby there. Good stop. Comes out just a little bit high, but great disc selection mm -hmm. as it doesn't really fade out. She's also going to be inside circle one. Stopping and resetting when you get distracted or something. Man, these girls are good. So many just little professional things that they do. Yeah, and Ava going with the standstill on the short distance, able to put herself well inside circle one, looking at a birdie. Peyton... Very solid drive. Yeah. Perfect height. That's the one she's been looking for. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that again from the other side. Very smooth, straight. That's how you draw it yeah, up. Yeah, textbook. So just about 25 feet farthest out, Haley able to connect. Mm -hmm. Shows now five down on the round. Be just a couple feet closer, mm -hmm. no problem at all. Dead yeah, center. Taking her time, doing her thing. Peyton looking to get back on track. There we go. A little shaky on nines green, but able to convert for the birdie. Get yeah. that bogey back. It's like it never happened. The straddle may be causing a bit of trouble there. Yeah, but shake it out. Yeah, still fully committed on the putt. Mm-hmm. You see her go back to her standard stance there. Probably a little bit of nerves there. Yeah, maybe finally catching some nerves. Sometimes you think they only come at the beginning of the round, but that is absolutely not true. Yeah. They can pop up at any point of any round of any tier of tournament also. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere. Quit trying to scare them. Hole 11, 164 feet. Um, looks like another pretty straightforward shot here. A little bit of brushy stuff on the right side. Just want to make sure you're not too wide off the tee pad. And that's looking like it's about to chase some chains, but... Oh, man, she was going 264 on yeah. that one. <laughs> Had lots of power. <laughs> Big old rip. Nice tree there to stop it. Yeah, but uphill. Oh, very nice from Haley. Mm -hmm. Using that ground play. Knows it's going to slide right on up there. She's got herself a tap in. Peyton with another great height shot. Coming into her element a little bit on the back nine here. 
Yeah, using that hillside to slow her down. She's also inside circle one. Oh, man. I like that. We got a girl using turnovers. I like it a yeah. lot. <laughs> turnovers and standstill. Knowing when to use that and when to use the run up. And another incredible putt from Shelby right around circle's edge. Gobble, gobble. Man, that putter's on fire. Peyton for back to back has the Smooth. putt back on too. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Ava can shake off these nerves a little bit. Back to a straddle here. Yeah, took a deep breath, very yeah. smooth. There you go, to shake it off and move on. Yeah, center on it, got the, got the bounce back stat, and we've got ourselves a diamond. Moving into hole 12. This one looks to be fun. Got a little sidewalk to carry over, well downhill, very dangerous green. You got some OB long and left, it looks like. Really gonna wanna control your straightness here. Don't let the disc fade. Shelby's got the right idea. Yeah. Throw it out to the right. Just let it hyzer in. Yeah, very well controlled. Going to leave herself a bit of a scary putt, but great tee shot. Mm -hmm. The line was great. Haley a little straighter, but it looks like the disc is also pretty neutral. It just kind of scoots right there under the basket. My goodness. Can't do it any better. Let's take a look from the other side. Man, she put on those sunglasses and just absolutely parked that shot. Yeah, using that st straightness and no stability in that disc to just let it stand up the whole way. Pink shot. Kind of needs to scootle down here, but catch some of that grass and she'll have the circle one putt for her birdie as well. Maybe slightly less scary than Shelby's. She's a little bit further down the hill. Yeah. But still going to have that drop off behind the basket. Eva keeps this a bit high. That needs to sit down. Yeah. yeah. Sl slow enough speed. velcro -y grass. Got a circle two look here for birdie. She'll have it happen for Yeah, far. gave it good yeah. height, that floaty putt that she has. Peyton for the turkey bounce back, and look at that putt. Taking her time, very clean, gobble gobble. <laughs> what is a group of turkeys called? Because that's what we're having here. I, I assume it's a flock because they're a bird, but I don't. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> Another great putt from Shelby. Yeah, she's got four in a row now. What's that called? Four in a row. Okay. <laughs> the four in a row bird. Ava, very nice collecting yourself. Mm hmm. Switched back to the straight putt. You know, sometimes one feels better than the other in the moment, you know. Haley Huber, gobble, gobble. Here we have hole 13, 115 feet. Bit of a hyzer. Uh, we got some tree branches to contend with. The basket's up on a bit of a hill here. You see Shelby going standstill. And still ends up a bit long, but well inside the circle. Mm -hmm. Haley might be going a little higher. 
Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, giving, giving it, it a run. Yeah. Very nice run there. She's almost half in range again for three holes in a row. Peyton with a little bit of a slow run up. Very controlled power there. And Ava with a standstill as well. The bit of a step. Parks it. Oh yeah, well done. We're gonna have Shelby up first. The longest and scariest putt putting back towards that downhill. She has shown no Scary signs what? of nerve though. Who's scared? She ain't scared. Just absolutely dead center yet again. Five birdies in a row. Peyton just blasting that putt right into the chains. <laughs> Ava back to the straddle on that hillside. Dead center. Gonna be looking at another star frame here in a second. Yeah, Haley very close. Still got the shades on. Another diamond. Look at all that green. Three of them have, have their <laughs> scorecard filled with green right now. <laughs> so we move into hole 14, 260 feet. Moving off to the right, so we might get to see if these ladies have a bit of power on the forehand or we're going to see some nice backhand turnover shots here. Yeah, one of the longer uh, holes that we've seen in a while. I mean, and there it is. There's that backhand turnover. My goodness. Incredible shot as we take a look from the other side. Has the height right. Mm -hmm. Doesn't turn it over too much. Slides right on up to the pin. Yeah, great disc selection. Another good looking backhand. Bit of an angle. Catches some early bushes. Also going with that turnover. Leaves it a little bit wider, but crashes into that hillside. Should have a long look at it. And Ava has a nice line on this. A little bit inside, but mm -hmm. sneaks through. She's going to be inside circle, too. Yeah, it looked like she just put some power on that and let the disc do most of the work. Peyton with the long look. Oh, it just curls right off of that ledge. Yeah, tricky greens coming into play. This is kind of the first Ooh. scramble type of shot that we've had to see. Yeah, patent pendings are tough. And just a little high, she catches yeah. those branches. Look it out of the hand. The line was good. And there's another smart play there. We saw Ava do that on hole nine where she went long. Haley looking to get her par here. Yeah, this would be a big par save. Beautiful. Smooth. It. Huge par save there. I love the way she walks up to the basket like, psh. Ain't no thing. Keeps her clean round going. Mm -hmm. oh, Peyton catching a lot of the right side chains there, but doesn't quite connect. And Shelby, just a beautiful drive. Going to card that six pack now. Six birdies in a row. And Ava going to clean up her par after the smart layup, trying to avoid any extra trouble.
hole 15, 305 feet, another longer hole here. Bit uphill and man, look at this basket. Hit a growth spurt. Yeah, got a few extra feet on the basket as well as the hole. First hole over 300 feet. Mm -hmm. Bit uphill with kind of a low ceiling. Oh, and she catches some of the high branches and kicks OB. Yeah, you want to be able to throw higher to get over that hillside, but those branches just really cut off a lot of uh, your airspace there. Healy going with a wide turnover. Yeah, around those branches, really avoiding the OB over there. Mm -hmm. She might have a little bit of a strange lie there, but she gets the distance that she needs. Oh, Ava, mm -hmm. also a bit high into those branches, ends up kicking down into the OB. As Peyton seems to have the height right, gets a good flight on that one. It's going to stay just outside of where Haley went. May have an open putt, but still low ceiling. Yeah. Bit of a tricky lie here for Shelby. Hits the front of that hillside, but we'll see what decision she makes from there. Yeah, and that tricky lie you mentioned may have played into why that shot was low. Her front foot lower than her back foot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot harder to do what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah, footing can definitely make a difference in power. So wants to put this one close to avoid too much more damage and does so. Should be able to clean up her five from there. Yeah, Haley putting her foot behind her line, just pitching it up to the basket, keeping it pretty stress-free for herself. Yeah, using those longer legs that she has already. Yeah. Smart there from Peyton as well with the elevated basket. To clean up the four after going OB. Very Great solid. Putt. Scary. Are you going to be able to reach that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> scary. Scary basket elevated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, on the Pro Tour, at least sometimes you get like something surrounding the pole. It just looks kind of a scarier when it's just the pole there. Yeah, almost like it's just suspended up there. Yeah. <laughs> and Haley able to clean up that par. Peyton going to be looking to do the same. Very nice. We'll move us into hole 16. Hole 16, 274 feet. We've got OB down the right side of the fairway. And gonna want to be throwing that hyzer shot. Make sure you don't skip too much though. About 10 feet left of the basket, you won't have a putt. Good old classic Texas golf. Haley a bit inside on her line there. But luckily trickles out outside of the woods. Yeah, very nice drop there to be in the open. Peyton keeps this wide enough, but needed a bit more stability. Yeah, also kind of kicks into the fairway, though, so hopefully they'll be looking at the easy par cleanup. Oh, and Ava used more stability, but didn't quite get the release right a bit early. She doesn't seem like she came back out into the open. We'll see what she has to work with. Shelby splits the difference here. 
hits the gap with something stable and has a little bit of a roll towards the basket. She'll have a long look at two. Yeah, and Ava. With her smart golf pitching out. Having to pitch out yeah. may have been left-handed. I'm not. I it looked kind of <laughs> left-handed. <laughs> A lefty pitch out there. And uh, tries to pitch up, but leaves it a little short. Maybe wants to work on that putting game a little yeah. bit more. Ooh. Nice little pitch up there from Haley, giving it a little bit of a bit almost. And a a little bit quick with the wrist on that one. Pulls it off to the right side. Still going to have a look for par as we've got Shelby with a look for birdie here. Oh, oh man. A lot of movement, a lot of spin on that. I thought for sure it would jump off the cage and into the chains, yeah. but sometimes it just be like that. Very online still, though, mm -hmm. is Ava... Not quite able to connect on that one. Peyton for a good par. Kind of yeah, leave it just a bit, a bit low. low. Looked a little bit quick like you were saying before. Smooth putt from Eva. Haley with the clean par. Yeah, so last three holes a bit on the longer side. Moving into hole 17, a bit of a reprieve from that. Only 186 feet. Mm -hmm. Hole 17, 186 feet. Slightly uphill, we have some sort of concrete thing in the fairway. Basket surrounded by trees. Shouldn't come into play too much, but visually. Power move by Haley, staring the camera down there. <laughs> Ooh, and quick ground play on that one. Gets her to circle's edge, even though she landed up close to the basket. She'll have a long look for birdie. Another straight-looking shot from Shelby. Kind of throwing it straight towards the basket. Um, although it probably would be better to leave it a bit right and let it crash into the basket. And I couldn't quite tell. Peyton may have found that concrete in the fairway there. As Ava does leave this one out to the right some, letting it fade back towards the pin. Oh, just catches the grass, otherwise would have been parked, but going to mm -hmm. be inside circle one. Oh, she did catch that concrete thingy. Oh, what a good bid, too. Those branches were just in the way. Oh, Shelby with the long look. She yeah. wanted it. Another nice line. Faded out just a bit early. Maybe 50, 55 feet. Haley from about 40. Mm. Man, it looked good. Smooth. Catches some of those right side chains, but doesn't quite connect. She'll have a tap in par. Nice par clean up from Shelby. And same from Peyton there, who must have wanted the birdie pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> you get in there, you. Ava with the par, and Haley tapping in her par. Looking at a bunch of pars on this hole. Not bad. Yeah, moves us into hole 18. The longest hole on the course for these ladies. 315 feet. Looking to see what type of power they have to reach this one. Mm -hmm. 
Man, plenty of power in that shot. Yeah, Haley showing that power. She's going to skip on past the basket inside circle one, looking at a birdie. Shelby also with some good power. She'll be a little bit outside circle one. Looking at her birdie look here. Peyton pushing. Pretty similar shot. Another circle two look. Yeah, it looks like these ladies have enough power to reach this for sure and are mm -hmm. putting overcorrecting with Heiser to try to not turn it over on themselves. Yeah, Ava with the great line here going around that tree. We're trying to. Yeah. Catches a bit of that grass. She'll have an also circle two look. Get it. Oh. Yeah. A good safe bid there from Peyton, keeping herself pretty close to finish the round with a par. Shelby solid from circle one and circle two all round today. One last chance. Mm -hmm. Leaves it a little bit left, but had great height. Haley to match Shelby's round of nine under. Oh, and yeah. What a great birdie to finish the round. Great putt. It always feels good to make that last solid putt on the last hole. Great birdie from Haley. One of just two on the day in the division. I'm going to say your last name wrong, but Irene Cisneros is the other two. He did his best. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> is Ava able to clean up her par and stay under par for the round? Solid par putt. Keeping her at 22 down for the event. Yeah, has a six-stroke lead over Haley, who jumps into second place over Peyton. Man, what a round of solid golf from these girls. Yeah, I've enjoyed this a lot, watching this FJ15 division at the 2024 United States Women's Disc Golf Championship. Shelby Cohen with a double bogey shoots nine under par. Haley Huber clean nine under par. Mm -hmm. Peyton Cohut and Ava Meyer both under par as well. Man, these girls are just, they're good. I, I'm feeling inspired, y'all. Like, this is some fantastic golf, and we're definitely going to see some of these names in the future. Yeah, make sure you guys tune in. Tomorrow, we will be covering the FA1 final round for some more future up-and-comers. Thank you guys for tuning in and joining us here. For Rebecca Cox, I'm Nathan Queen. We'll see you guys out there. See ya.